Hey guys, so uh, today's been a very long day. If you guys didn't know, I moved my snails to the, well of course you guys didn't know because I didn't update you, but I put my snails in a 20 gallon tank. I'll have all of the videos playing right here. Um, I put them in a 20 gallon tank because I couldn't see them in the 3.5 gallon tank anymore. Their growth, they weren't growing and I need them to grow and become healthy so I really need to move them so my friend was kind enough to give me a 20 gallon tank so that's exactly what I did and I put them in there and then I noticed that the water was like below freezing I couldn't even put my hand in there let alone them live in there I read online that as long as it doesn't go below 68 they should be fine and it only went to 70 so now I have the heater in there so they can stay warm and they can live happy and do whatever they want so the second part I went to Target to go buy a storage container. Hey guys, so I'm at Target right now and I haven't fed um, Fitz insects. I'll give, I'll like explain everything later, but I'm about to set up a phoenix worm or a silkworm or a mealworm. I still have to look at all the worms. This is going to be the drawer I get. I'm going to put like the insects in one, then water bottles in the other. I was going to think about getting this, but these two, this one and this one is the same exact price. So I was like, I'll just get that one because it's bigger and it can hold more. So I'll see you guys in a bit. As you guys know, I haven't been feeding Fitz crickets. I mean, well, yeah, Fitz crickets, really any insects, which is really bad. And I've read online, so I'm not even going to get into it. I need to start getting him back into the insects. I know it's been way too long, but it's been like on and off. It hasn't been like, it's only been like since what, the beginning of July since I fed, in, fed him insects, but that's still no excuse. Okay, not that he's like sick, but he's doing just fine. It's just that I haven't been giving him insects, which is really bad. I've been giving him like, you know, the little food and stuff that says they have insects in them, but still it's not as good as the actual insect itself live. So because of my... Uh, restrictions in this house not meaning that like I can't I'm not allowed to do anything it's just that we can't have certain things in this house so I can't put crickets in this house I can't have roaches in this house so I'm switching to worms that's really the only thing I can do right now and I know that's not the best staple you know insect for a bearded dragon to have but that's really all I can do right now so I have super worms in there I want to get phoenix worms or silkworms since they are the best so I'm going to see what I can do Fitz already tried a silkworm he likes them they're okay for him And I set up the whole silkworm, not silkworm, I keep messing everything up. I set up the whole superworm tank with the storage container. And they said you can use Cheerios as a substrate for now. I have to go out and buy oatmeal. It's just been a lot. So today I'm like absolutely just exhausted. And now I have to go clean my room. I have to go clean out the snail tank. If I even get to that today. But it's okay if I don't because there's no animals in it. And I'm not going to work myself up over it. But I bought a lot of stuff. And... Uh, mainly, I, I got a few stuff for me because I started to realize every paycheck I get from my work, it doesn't go to me. Like, I used to spend all this money on myself and I was like, oh yeah, like guys, look at my new sneakers or look at this new outfit I just bought. And now it's just like, hey, look at this new like calcium I bought. This is really interesting. Or like, hey, look at this new bearded dragon food I just paid for. <laughs> all in all, it's so worth it. I love my animals. I'll do anything for them. But yeah, this was today's hectic trip. So I just wanted to update you guys on me getting silkworms. I just wanted to show you guys what's been going on. So the insects and everything as I'm using the superworms now and what's going on with my snails. So this was a little more of an update video. It's not really informational or I mean you could call it a vlog. But this is just a quick update video to show you guys what's been happening. And hopefully I can make a video on superworms super to teach you guys how to take care of them. If I successfully do this just like I do. I fail to do it everything else. But no um. And then just keep you updated on the snails. I know that they're going to be fine. They're going to grow to full size because I had a baby about this small. And I put, like, I had three babies about this small. And I put them all in this 10-gallon tank right now. And they all grew full size. And, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you in the next video.